there exists an amazing economic technique that reduces cost of production drastically. It mainly does so by minimizing the operating cost. Companies such as PNG, Unilever, fast food chains and even your local general stores apply this technique to increase their profits. And today, we are going to discuss all about it. Knowledge seekers, enthusiasts and leaders of tomorrow. Welcome to today's episode of the Students' Journal. Let us begin with a simple yet vivid scenario before we dive into the technical terms. Sounds good? Great! Buckle up! It's a warm sunny morning in the countryside. The early hours accompanied by the chirping of birds, the rustling of leaves and the scenic beauty call for peak productivity as our favorite band of merry dairy farmers, intelligent, punctual and honest go to work. They are part of the team with the duty of separating milk into whey and curds. The curds are processed to make cheese which are then sold to the market or other businesses. Heavy buyers of cheese can be fast food companies. It is only because of our favorite group of merry dairy farmers that your favorite burgers and pizzas are as delicious and juicy as they come. After milk is curdled and strained, a byproduct in the process of making cheese, whey is obtained. The name sounds awfully familiar, doesn't it? That's right. Whey is a high protein substance that is fed to livestock, but that's not why you're familiar with it, right? Whey is also used by our favorite bodybuilders and fitness enthusiasts. Whey is also sold to manufacturers of gym supplements. The core idea used here is economies of scope. What is economies of scope? Economies of scope expands the product range with new products, thereby increasing sales, winning newer customer groups and already existing production processes. In simpler terms, it is the technique where businesses reduce cost of production by simply selling different products. As the saying goes, variety is the spice of life. Assume there were three different businesses, one would produce the milk, one with the curds and one with whey. Can you imagine just how much more resources in the form of time, money and energy would be consumed in this scenario? With finite resources, smart companies want to achieve economies of scope. Who wouldn't want to decrease cost of production and increase profits? Why shouldn't anyone seek economies of scope? After all, no one likes to waste precious resources. Now to answer the next big question. How exactly do companies achieve economies of scope? Businesses use vertical integration, horizontal integration or even both to achieve positive economies of scope. It depends on what they are looking for. A vertical integration, also known as expansions of debt, increase the depth of the services. This is done so by acquiring control of the different stages of production. Huh? What? Sounds confusing, doesn't it? How about we illustrate this idea using examples? McDonald's is the world's biggest fast food chain. They have contracts with farmers who supply them with raw ingredients. Then, they use these ingredients to produce their delicious products. Our merry group of dairy farmers work in a company which has cattle, enabling them to create the essential raw ingredient, milk. Horizontal integration, sometimes referred to as bundling effect or expansions of wheat, enables companies to broaden their offering range at the level of value chain. Famous examples can be Disney's 2016 acquisition of Pixar and Facebook's 2012 acquisition of Instagram. On a more relatable level, imagine your two local tea shops merging together to create a super tea shop. Now wouldn't that be a sight to see? The world is expanding at an amazing rate. New ideas, increasing competitions and a diverse marketplace request businesses to make smart decisions. With the current state of the world, resources are also being consumed at a very fast rate. Economies of scope cuts down operating costs, reduces resource consumptions and provides a solid way for business to prosper. Dearest knowledge hungry people, thank you for tuning in with us. We genuinely hope this video was helpful to you. We sincerely hope you will join us again in our next episode of the Student's Journal. Happy learning!